Indonesia has 40% of the world's potential geothermal resources, with an estimated 24 gigawatt of reserves ready to be cultivated. Its largest geothermal company, Pertamina Geothermal Energy, aims to export clean energy to neighbouring countries as the region competes to use more renewables. As Saiful Bari Ismail reports, Indonesia is currently harnessing 10% of this energy potential. The majestic Mount Guntur is the pride of people in Garut Regency, West Java province. Indonesia sits on the Ring of Fire, an area with some of the most active volcanoes in the world and an abundance of geothermal resources. On the slopes of Mount Guntur lies the Kamojang crater where geothermal energy is being harnessed. Geothermal exploration began in Kamujang nearly a hundred years ago in 1926. This is the first geothermal well that was drilled during the Dutch colonial time. After nearly a century, this well is still emitting steam continuously at a high pressure. Geothermal energy is the heat produced in the Earth's core. The presence of hot rocks and fluids underground creates natural geothermal reservoirs. Wells are created by drilling deep underground to reach these hot rocks and fluids. The fluids are then drawn from the underground reservoirs in the form of heat through wells to the Earth's surface. At the surface, that energy is converted to steam which drives turbines connected to a generator that produces electricity. The cooled water is pumped back into the Earth to help sustain the underground reservoir. The Kamojang Geothermal Power Field is the first in Indonesia and is managed by PT Pertamina Geothermal Energy, which is a state-owned company. Kelebihan dari geothermal adalah dia sanggup beroperasi 24 jam sehari dan 7 hari seminggu. Kita tidak intermittent. Contohnya kalau dibandingkan dengan matahari. Kalau PLTS paling sehari hanya beroperasi sekian jam. Nah, setelah malam dia tidak dapat beroperasi. Geothermal is a capital-intensive industry and companies face high investment risks, especially during the exploration and drilling phase of the business. This in turn increases the cost of electricity produced from geothermal energy. Pertamina Geothermal Energy operates a total of six geothermal plants across Indonesia with an installed capacity of 672 megawatts. The company plans to increase this to 1 gigawatt in two years. It also aspires to grow its business and export renewable energy. We have a very huge hubs of geothermal in Sumatra. If you make a subsea cable just to uh, Singapore to Malaysia, that can be easily transported as a renewable base load. The potential is definitely there as we have a huge uh, 23,000 megawatts of geothermal in Indonesia that can be shared uh, to uh, other uh, neighbors to ensure our climate change uh, our objective together can be met. However, exporting geothermal energy out of Indonesia may not happen soon. Under Indonesian law, energy companies can only sell electricity to PT Perusahaan Listrik Negara, which is a state-owned power company. Kalau kita ke depan, demand kita, listrik itu juga akan meningkat. Tadi kan dikatakan kalau semakin negara maju, itu juga konflik juga meningkat. Jadi apakah bisa ekspor atau tidak, nanti kita lihat. Yang jelas pemerintah selalu mendahulukan kepentingan dalam negeri dulu, baru kita bisa ekspor. Gitu. Indonesia targets to reach net zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2060. It aims to have renewables make up nearly a quarter of its energy mix by 2025 as it tries to reduce a dependence on fossils. Earlier this year, Indonesia agreed to transport 2 gigawatts of solar power to Singapore from Batam Island. Right now, green electricity is kind of a goal. And having green electricity, increase renewable energy in your power system will reduce the energy intensity. I think in today's world, in a climate-constrained world, uh, is about uh, it can increase your competitiveness. So maybe Indonesia right now willing to sell some green electron to other country, but the country also need that green electrons uh, so much. Geothermal plants are expected to be one of the backbones of Indonesia's renewable electricity supply.
With an abundance of reserves underneath the earth, it's full steam ahead for geothermal companies to harvest more green energy in the fight against climate change. Sefulbari Smile, CNA, Kamojang, Indonesia.